Hello, uh, in this video I'll talk about uh, Paddle OCR. I recently updated Paddle OCR to the uh, latest version and uh, I tested it inside Sparrow. It works quite well and this uh, change is already committed on the GitHub. And in this video I'll show you how uh, Paddle OCR works within Sparrow as a service and how you can pass uh, image, uh, in this case specifically a received image, to process and extract data. And this is the sample receipt that I'll be testing out. And you see the qual quality is, uh, say, average. And yeah, we'll see how uh, Paddle OCR works and how it gets the data. So if you look under the, into the requirements, we'll see that uh, I'm using latest Paddle OCR 2.80 and Paddle, Paddle Platform 2.61, which is also the latest one. Okay, and then we have fast API endpoint defined here uh, with uh, fast API application. We have defined uh, Sparrow OCR router and this router implementation under OCR script. All right, and here what we do is uh, uh, reload OCR model uh, one time and then keep it in cache so that when we have concurrent or multiple requests uh, from uh, single or from different users, then the same model will be reused. And this will optimize API performance because there'll be no need to load this heavy model for the each request, it will stay in cache. So this is very handy and useful in terms of the performance optimization, obviously. Then this merge data method, it uh, uh, helps to retrieve uh, text data from the OCR response and uh, skip all the other data like coordinates and other stuff. And this is the invoke OCR method, which is invoked from endpoint, from the inference endpoint. Uh, here we handle two cases when either the file is uploaded directly through the API or we pass uh, URL from where we want to fetch file which should be processed by OCR, uh, like an image URL. In both cases we call invoke OCR. This is the method over here, this one. And then we load the model and either from disk or from cache, then we convert image to bytes and then we save it to the temporary in-memory file, which we removed automatically when the request is done. And then we call OCR through Paddle OCR, and then we get back a response, uh, clean up the response from uh, things that we don't want to uh, be included, and uh, keep only the text. And then we report back the response over here. Okay, so now we can start uh, API. So the fast API application starts and uh, application is running. Then we can switch to uh, Swagger UI from fast API. This is where we can test the endpoint and it's available over here, uh, inference endpoint. And we pass uh, the sample file that uh, uh, I was showing you a moment ago. Uh, another option is to pass the URL. Then we click execute, and then if you switch back to the console, we see that uh, model is loaded. And now in a few seconds, in, uh, in 11 seconds, we get back the response. Now it's a bit slower because on the same machine I'm recording the video, so obviously machine is a bit overloaded and the uh, response comes slower. Now if, uh, since the model is already in cache, and uh, if we execute again, And then let's see. Okay, now it's nine seconds, so it's a bit faster uh, because model was not uh, already in cache, there was no need to load it again. But uh, normally if you run it uh, on powerful machine, then it should be like a second or so. And in this case, by the way, it runs on CPU, not on GPU. And I'm also recording the video, so it's a bit slower. And still it does quite well in nine seconds. Okay, now if you look back to the response, we see that uh, we got back the response here. And for example, we get double, double, 525 onion fry. And if you look into the 
actual sample invoice here. We see this row correctly was correctly retrieved. And for example, check and transaction was also retrieved. In this case, uh, check 43 is kind of merged into a single word. So probably some additional processing could be required to identify the number here. Transaction is uh, is also merged, but at least we have this sign here that identifies where the number starts. But for example, one method of drink uh, is returned, retrieved quite well, uh, not actually well. And then if you look into the total, uh, which is here, amount due, so you can get uh, it also, we get correct value, uh, $10.57. Okay, and yeah, I think Paddle OCR, based on my test, is quite good uh, comparing to other OCR uh, applications because it's out of the box, can uh, return multiple multiple words grouped into the same sentence, like here, counter it in on Tender MasterCard. With other OCRs, like uh, Tesseract, you need to play with parameters and you need to specify thresholds when uh, you would consider two words to be returned uh, in a single sentence. Here in Paddle OCR, it happens automatically. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you're using uh, OCR service, if in Sparrow, you can update now to the latest uh, Paddle OCR, uh, because uh, I committed this code in GitHub. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.